All right, hello everyone, Rob here with ScrappyDude.com, and in this video we're going to show you how to create this effect uh, inside of Shortcuts A Lot 4 with the, the apples going around the outside and creating that monogrammed frame, all right? Now, if you don't have Shortcuts A Lot 4, uh, you know, you may be interested in getting it. Check the description below. Now, like I said, uh, if you like the frame, uh, the link will be in the description below on how you can get the frame, okay? So, uh, Let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing that we're going to need is the apple. Now, this apple comes from Scrappy Doo, uh, one of our uh, files, and I will give you the link or uh, you know attach this somehow in this video so that you're going to be able to download the apple only. And when you uh, download the apple, uh, you know you're going to go ahead and click on the import uh, button right here, import SVG file, and from there you'll be able to place it right here on your mat. All right, now. Uh, what we're going to need to do first is, uh, you know, to make things easy, let's go ahead and group this. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to uh, Object Group, and that will just allow me to be able to click anything on here, and it will move just fine, all right? So the next step that we need to do, it is going to be the... Uh, you know, we need to have a way to make this apple go around a circle. So uh, let's go ahead and add a circle to it. So right over here, um, with the little mouse clicker held down, you want to choose circle, all right? And I'm going to hold the shift button down while I'm clicking. So click, hold, and I'm growing that circle, okay? So now I have it. I'm going to change the color of this just so that we can uh, see things a little better with this. I'm going to go ahead and choose that and hit OK. So, obviously we're going to use this circle as a guide in order to get the apple to go around it. However, we're not going to manually copy and paste an apple and uh, drag it around the circle. We're not going to do that. But what we will do here is uh, we're going to use an effect. All right. Now, in order for this effect to work, I'm going to go ahead and select the pointer. Uh, the little mouse tool up here in the top corner. And over in the Layers panel, we want to make sure that the circle is on the bottom layer. Uh, right now we have the apple on the bottom. So in order to switch those around, I click hold and I drag, and you'll see that little line move, and I'm going to go ahead and put it right there. All right. So now we have everything set. I'm going to go ahead and select both of these, and I'm going to go up to Effect, and then I'm going to go to uh, the Object on Path. And when I click on this, uh, some menus items that we're going to want to choose. I, I do want to choose Auto Preview. And the alignment I do want to put on the bottom. And I want to have an offset. I just want it, I don't want it touching the circle. I just want it nudged up just a little. So I'm just going to do one click on here. For the repeat count, I'm going to go ahead and hit Fill Path Link. And, you know, really that's, that's too many apples around here. So let's go ahead and... Uh, you know, add some spacing. When we add some spacing, you're going to notice that some apples are going to be uh, removed here. So I can move this here so we can sort of see what's going on. But, um, you know, you can click that until everything looks good. All right. So now, now it does. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And the, the next thing that uh, I'm going to do real quick is I sort of want to, uh, you know, line up these apples, uh, you know, to look a little more eye-pleasing. So I'm going to hide the circle. I'm going to select this, and I'm going to just choose the rotate button. And I'm just looking for that uh, that top apple to be, you know, at the 12 o'clock position. You know, and that, that sort of looks a little more eye-pleasing to me. All right. I'm going to turn on the circle because now we need to create uh, that green frame that you see here. So uh, I'm going to hide the apples for now, and I'm going to select the circle. When I select the circle, I'm going to go up to Effects, and then I'm going to go all the way down to Shadow Layer. And I want an inset shadow, so uh, I'm going to check mark this, and I'm going to just increase this by one, and that will create the, the frame effect that I'm looking for. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. From here, I do need to have both circles selected, and I'm going to go up to Object, and I'm going to go to Merge, and now that has punched a hole in that little frame. So now we got that little frame. Kind of cool, right? So we're going to go ahead and choose the fill. And I think I chose green, but we'll uh, we'll keep it like this for now. We'll see how the apples are. Now, it's time to get the, the monogram into the center. And for that, I use the app 
of the the monogram generator okay so basically with this program I'll link in the description below on where you can get this uh, you click on generate you type in the three initials that you want and you're gonna get uh, this right here I'm gonna go ahead and go on to the desktop here and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save I know I already have one there I'm gonna go ahead and hit replace so now we're done with that monogram generator let's go ahead and bring it in so I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, you know try to find it right there it's on my desktop and I can just click and drag this in here alright so there's that I got the DEW let's go ahead and give it a give it a fill and a color alright so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, choose color and I'm gonna go ahead and choose you know black right there alright so now I can grow and shrink this I can hold the shift button down to constrain proportions and then I can move it into the center where it, where it needs to be alright so uh, you know like I said that's how we can create the you know the monogram effect of a frame with a pattern going around a circle uh, you know fairly easy in shortcuts lot 4 like I said if you don't have shortcuts lot 4 and, and you like this frame uh, the description on you know the link to where you can get this frame is in the description the Apple uh, if you're gonna try to follow along with us with this project is in the description as well so hopefully you like this lesson uh, if you did go ahead and subscribe to our channel we got tons of shortcuts lot videos uh, you know on our classroom you know make sure you go check that out it's well worth the time if you're interested in learning a little bit more about shortcuts a lot uh, for and the power that it can give you to create these things all right so with that I'm Rob with scrappydo.com and I'll see you next time thanks for watching